I'm Good Morning Tri-State Anchor Chris Reva. We noted today on the morning news that it's the fourth consecutive day that we have set some type of weather record, whether it be snow total or in the case of this morning, the frigid temperatures. And I started thinking back to my childhood growing up in Middletown, the, US the winters of, of Commerce, 1977. Our stretch of the Ohio River here in Cincinnati has only frozen 14 times since the 1870s, but the last two times were in 1977 and 78. And I remember hearing stories from people growing up when they went down to the river and walked across or walked on the chunks of ice. And I started to look at some of the old images that have been posted on the internet. What I remember from that winter was I was just in elementary school at the time. We missed so much school that we had to use our makeup days and go to school on weekends, which was miserable for a young student. So I solicited the help of our senior reporter, Tom McKee, about how he remembers the Ohio River freezing. I was sent down to the Ohio River on a Sunday to cover people uh, walking across the river. The shipping channel was still open, so it wasn't quite 100% frozen. People were going across it. And it probably wasn't the safest thing in the world to do, but people were still doing it, probably to tell their kids and their grandkids and their great-grandkids that they had done it. I do remember the ice was very ragged, very jagged, very unsmooth. It's not like a glass surface, a hockey ring. Veteran news photographer Ronnie Fisher also remembers covering the frozen river. I remember it froze. I remember I was down there many times shooting people walking across the river, and I did not want to do it myself. I chickened out. I sometimes wish I would have done it, but I didn't walk across it myself. But I saw a lot of people walking across it. Wasn't it pretty remarkable to see people walking across the Ohio River? It was unbelievable. I mean, they, they had uh, toes busting up the ice so that barges can get through. And then it got to the point where they couldn't do it anymore, so they said, heck with it, and just let it freeze over. I did not go down to the river, but they would show it like on the news and people would talk about it and that sort of thing like that. Longtime operations engineer Leon Jones also grew up in Cincinnati and remembers those winters well. Oh, people walking on the, the, the river, the Ohio River, that was the big thing. I remember my father had to actually work out in that weather. I hated that because most of downtown was closed, almost all of downtown was closed. But so what were your memories? Do you have any pictures? Post them to our Facebook page or Twitter at, at WCPO. And also you can read more about it right here on WCPO.com.